Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at a method for solving quadratics called the square root method. We can use this method to solve quadratic equations that are in certain formats. What we mean by that is really, if we think about our typical standard form, we would have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. That's our typical standard form for a quadratic equation. Now we can use the square root method to solve quadratics that are missing the bx term. So if they just have ax squared plus c equals zero, we can isolate the x squared on one side of the equal sign and use the square root method. Let's look at some examples of how that works. Here's our first one. Solve the following quadratic equation. First thing that I'm gonna do is add 81 to both sides to start isolating the x squared term. So that gives me x squared equals 81. From there, I want to get this to say x equals. So to undo x squared, I'm gonna take the square root of both sides. Whenever I solve an equation by taking the square root of both sides, I need to consider both the positive and the negative versions of the answer. Square root of 81 is nine. Let's take a look at why we might need to consider both the positive and the negative nine. If we go to check both of our answers, let's verify that both work. Checking positive nine. Well, that would be positive nine squared minus 81 equals zero. Positive nine squared is 81. So we do in fact get a solution. However, it is also true that negative nine squared minus 81 equals zero gives me a true solution because negative nine squared is also 81. So we get zero equals zero for that one as well. So don't forget when using the square root method, if you take the square root of both sides, make sure you consider positive and negative. Okay, one more like that. So here's one that has a little bit more work up front to isolate the x squared. First, start out by adding 16 to both sides. That's gonna leave me with four x squared equals 16. Now I want to divide by four so that I have x squared all by itself. So x squared equals 16 divided by four is four. To undo squared, I'm gonna square root both sides, remembering that that means I'm going to get a positive and a negative in my answer. So I'm gonna get plus or minus, the square root of four is two. Okay guys, that does it for this first video on solving quadratics using the square root method. Until next time, we'll see you next time.